Radio Raheem post fight for Omar Figueroa and Daniel Estrada. Huge war. Daniel Estrada right after uh, the fight left the ring, but we've got Omar Figueroa. Here he is. It, uh, it, it actually felt pretty good. You know, I could I could land some power shots in there, and I and I could throw you know a bit harder than other times. Well, you know, I actually I, I heard him the last round, the round before that one, so I knew he was he was kind of softened up. And after the cut, I knew he was going to come in a bit more open, so I knew I had to play possum for a bit and just wait for that for that opening. What makes you want to work 140? Is it the weight that was having trouble to make this time? What's making them move up? Yeah, no, I, it's just the weight, man. I, I honestly feel like I'm going to feel a million times stronger at 140 and just way more comfortable and and and, and way you know way better camps. We saw you turn south for a lot of the fight. Is that something you work at the camp? Oh, that yeah. Just yeah, no, that's that's what I do all the time. You know, just to see how a boxer reacts and uh, obviously if I see it's not working. I won't I won't turn south pawn anymore but this time we, we saw it work a couple times and that's why I kept doing it. It's that's not up to me man. I'm ready. You know if my, my team tells me to get ready for whatever I'll get ready for whoever but other than that it's up to them. But did you, what did you tell him after the fight? Because I know you went up to the Well I, you know I I told him the same thing I told him before the fight when I saw him because it takes balls to step in the, into the ring. And it takes even more balls and more hearts to step in the ring after what happened to his sister on his knees. So, you know, just, just telling him that he's a, he's a great champion. He shouldn't be embarrassed or feel bad that he lost the fight. He came out there and, and threw with the, with the greatest. And, uh, you know, this is uh, it's just unfortunate what happened to him. And, I, and I, I, I can relate because my cousins passed last year. So it's just mad. It's, I don't know how he did it, honestly. I don't know how, I don't know how he was able to, go, to get in there. Omar, you may have been asked this question already, but... You said post fight up in the apron that you weren't too happy about your performance. Why? I just didn't feel strong. I didn't. I didn't feel strong or explosive like I normally do. And uh, it's just like I said, it's that 135, man. It's making 135. It takes too much out of me. So I'd rather leave some in me for you know to make 140 and leave some for the ring. So no amount of money would get you to be able to fight Lenars? <laughs> well. I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna say no because obviously, if they, if the money's right, you know, I'll, I'll probably, you know, go down and do it. But I don't know, man. Making 135 is tough, so we're, we'll see. What do you think you most about your opponent's time, bro? His heart. His heart. I mean, that guy w w had more heart than anybody I'd seen, and especially after what happened. So I, I really, you know, I, my, I took my hat to that guy. That's not up to me, man. I'm just here to fight. If the fans love it, good. If my promoters love it, good. Do you get it easier? Just it was just the way too much for you. Yeah, I think the way is just too much for me. Yeah. Great fight, great knockout. Hold on, can you get knockout, bro? How do you assess this? There you have it, Omar Figueroa after winning a battle at the StubHub Center in Carson.